Welcome back to the show, everybody. Yo, got more of that Soul Calibur 6 and we're about to take a look at this Inferno trailer. But before we get started, I'd like to say a couple of things about my experience with that network test. It was very hard to find matches. And then when I did, I was either beating myself or beating myself because there was a lot of those situations where if I'd have known what the hell I was doing, I probably would have won. But then getting some sage advice from my little brother, you know what I'm saying, and understand that I was playing the game wrong. And then when I really understood it, it actually took a look at the footage. It's like, yeah, I was playing that really bad. At the end of the day, though, the important thing is I had fun. And I'm like, I gave up playing online like that for that reason because I wasn't having fun. It's like I have fun, like, you know what I'm saying, when I am when I play with Jay, you know what I'm saying, when I play at Rob Bob and we stream and we have fun, but I actually legitimately had fun playing against strangers, even though the internet is what it is in situation that it is, which is one of the reasons I stopped playing online, because at the time when I stopped playing, I had DSL, it was sucky, and I think I was making online play bad for people that were playing against me because my stuff was up the snuff button. That's years ago. Maybe that competitive fire comes back. I don't know. But we'll see. Maybe we'll do something with that. Maybe I should play that other game that I played a whole bunch more. Fighting games, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all do that. But regardless of that, regardless of that, we got the boy Inferno back in Soul Calibur 6. And given that this is some semi-word reboot, this kind of sort of makes sense. Given, I'm like, but, I, but given even that Aswell is in the building, Muscle Buster Aswell, of course, is I really didn't think Inferno was going to make a comeback. Because, again, regardless of the form that Inferno appeared in throughout the series, he's a very important and integral character as the epitome of what Soul Edge, given a form, is before all that nightmare fuckery. But that's another story, and we shouldn't get into it. Like, when I think about, like, Inferno, like, I'm like, more of my experience with him really sticks out when fighting him as a final boss in Soul Calibur versus in Soul Blade, I really honestly think. that I'm like, for real, like, when I really think about Inferno, Soul Bla Soul Edge, well, Soul Edge, yes, comes to mind definitely because you had to leave the PS4 on for 24 hours to unlock it. The simplest way to do that was put it in the options mode, take the disc out, leave it while you're going to school three days in a row. The same way, um, one time when I had to get all the characters back for Alpha 3, I had to do it that way to leave it on to lock, unlock all the characters because I wasn't playing World Tour 1 twice. Just wasn't doing it. I might be up for doing that too. Note to self, play PSX version of World Tour mode, maybe the Saturn version. All right, put that in my head. So maybe some point we're going to play the World Tour mode of Street Fighter Zero Three 3 on the Saturn. No, seriously, we should do that. Regardless of that. It's good to see Inferno back, given, like I said, even given Aswell, is that I'm trying to figure out, like, how this all fits into this. And from what I have heard accidentally about what this character is and what you can and can't do with him, I will hold my thoughts until the end of this video. How about that? But for right now, bring me super duper mini side motherfucking magic box. Boom. Right there. Mm-hmm. See, see, I like to fuck with y'all with that because I know it's this head that goes right here. But see, you think I don't know, but I know. You can't see me. Do, 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 do. No. Look. Let us activate the power of Super Duper Mini Motherfucking Magic Box. Let's watch this Inferno trailer and try to see if we can gain some actual knowledge about why this is what the hell it is. So... <clears throat> Now activating Inferno.exe. Inferno. Okay. Whatever fight. Okay, I'm gonna shut. Damn, okay. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh my god. Was that a foot? Is that an FADC or something? Damn. Oh, wow, okay. I kind of see the point what they were talking about on the internet about this. Stuff. Damn! It's the, oh my god! Oh, oh, the classic, the classic throwback shit! Oh my god, that's that so, that's that so close. What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> that was dirty. It's fuck. Okay, that was dirty. What, 
What is Sean Lin, give me strength. What does this have to do with it? Like, Helix turning into Nikali versus Inferno. I understand now. And again, come on. Come on. On the 19th? Damn, okay. Damn. Wow. Please. Um, please, Magic Box. Take a break. Okay. I understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Super totally understand. Super duper totally. Okay, the thing is, is that the one thing I heard was this character was not going to be available to play online, like, at all. Not even casual matches where you'd want to deck around with the character. I see. I'm like, he did a damn burst into a spinning pile driver? I think I saw what was an FADC. I'm like, I see your point, video game, but then at the same time, I understand why you would, even in an instance that you'd want to just have that, you know, keep that in somebody's homes and don't affect the internet with it. But at the same time, there has to be some sort of balance. And I really think that if somebody want to play as him as cat, because it's like, I remember there are other games. I think, let me see, I want to say, um, HD Remix did that, where you could in a room... Ban whether or not Akuma was playable, if I'm not mistaken. And if I'm completely wrong, please let me know. But I know there are games that sit up here and, like, ban, like, boss characters from being played. Like, you choose in the lobby, like, do you want this? You know what? I know what game does that. Blaze Blue with unlimited characters. Like, you can have, like, you can't play unlimited characters in ranked matches, but you can have, like, casual rooms where, where they can be legal or not. I know, I know that for damn sure. So, we'll see about that. Also, what I heard about this character is this is this base roster plus Tyrus DLC. So I'm also trying to figure out why in the hell she even in that network test if you gonna make me pay for that damn character. I'm not. At some point, but maybe I should put that digital edition in that $150 version with Sophie's tits in it. Then, you know, I don't know. But again, for the umpteen time, that's just what Bandai Namco do and it makes no fucking sense. Just negative it's negative zero motherfuckers okay negative zero cents okay be looking at me like look we have done all that we can here welcome back inferno it's good to see your soul caliber gangster shit that oh and, and that spin was extra because usually he would he could either spin like this or spin like that no he spent like this did this did some other shit and then sat up and hit the motherfucker i'm just like damn Look, regardless of all of that, children, we've got more show for you. So, you know the drill. Sit back, relax, stay tuned. Uncle Triple M, the squad here, Team GRF TV, got exactly what you need. And we will have right more of that, of course, after when? After these commercial messages. <laughs> hmm. I thought I had something else to say, but... I don't. Other than you should stay tuned. We got more show after these commercial messages. But you already knew that. See you guys on the other side. <laughs>